A warm welcome to all the aspirants. We're back with another lecture series video on teaching aptitude. The discussion in this video includes nature or characteristics of teaching with special focus on levels of teaching. The characteristic features are as follows. There are different levels of teaching. Teaching takes place in a dynamic environment. It is closely related to education, learning, instruction and training. Teaching is essentially an intellectual activity. Teaching is an art as well as science. Teaching tends towards self-organization. Teaching is also a social service. It includes lengthy periods of study and training. It has high degree of autonomy. It is a continuous process. Teaching is a profession. Three levels of teaching are MLT or Memory Level of Teaching, ULT or Understanding Level of Teaching and RLT or Reflective Level of Teaching. Memory Level of Teaching, MLT. Exponent of MLT is Herbert. It is an initial stage of teaching. It induces the habit of rote memorization of facts and bits of information. The teaching learning process is basically stimulus response, SR. It enables learners to retain and also to reproduce the learned material whenever required. Its evaluation system includes oral, written and essay type examination. The result is rapidity in learning, stability of retention, rapidity in recalling and ability to bring only desirable contents to the conscious level. Understanding level of teaching, ULT. Exponent of ULT is Morrison. It induces memory, memory plus insight, focuses on mastery of the subject. ULT helps in making generalizations, principles and facts understandable to students. In ULT, active role is played by both teacher and student in assimilation of facts. Evaluation system includes essay and objective type questions. Reflective level of teaching, RLT. Exponent of RLT is Hunt. It is the highest level of teaching because it includes both ULT and MLT. It is a problem-centric approach of teaching and students take up a research approach to solve the problems. The classroom environment is open and independent. It helps to develop reflective power of learners so that they can solve problems of their life by reasoning, logic and imagination to lead successful and happy lives. In RLT, student occupies the primary place, whereas the teacher occupies the secondary place. Evaluation includes essay type tests, attitude, belief and involvement. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe and also press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.